What has eight arms but isn't a spider and vanishes like an underwater magician? Me. Hello, folks. I am the octopus. The weirdest, softest, and smartest creature you can meet underwater. Don't let my slimy look fool you. Ain't that some lost jelly blob? I'm a genius with tentacles. I have up to 500 million neurons, with two-thirds located not in my head but in my arms, or more precisely, my tentacles. Which means, if my head can't process fast enough, my arms go ahead and think for themselves. No backbone. But yes, I have distributed brains. I can solve mazes, and screw jars, recognize human faces, and play the grab it, analyze, toss it. Because boring, game faster than a QR code scanner on caffeine. Someone once said, if octopuses lived as long as dogs, they'd rule the oceans. Sadly, we only live for about one to two years. Long enough to learn everything. For an exit like a genius who never needed fame. Yes, I have three actual hearts. One pumps blood through the body. The other two work exclusively for my gills. But every time I swim, the gill hearts take a break. That's why I avoid swimming. It's literally exhausting. I prefer crawling along the sea floor, <laughs> lowly and economically. I can office worker post overtime. I have no skeleton, no shell. I can squeeze through coin size holes as long as my beak, the only hard part of me, fits. I change color, skin texture, and pattern thanks to millions of chromatophores. The fashion world calls it versatile style. I call it survival with flair. I have eight tentacles, not for striking TikTok poses. Each is equipped with 240 to 280 suckers, nearly 2,000 in total. Feel free to call me the walking sensor array. Each sucker can taste, smell, feel pressure, and decide independently whether to grab or let go. Without bothering to consult my main brain, if I'm hugging you and get bored, one arm might just release you without notice. Bold, no, efficient. My arms think for themselves, sometimes even override me, surprisingly. They perform better than some humans who do follow instructions. Scientists call it a decentralized autonomous nervous system. They call it, if you've got eight arms but can only do one task at a time, that's the real problem. I eat crabs, shrimp, cramps, snails, small fish, basically anything with a shell that I can crack. I've got a beak like a parrot's, sharp, hard, perfect for puncture or injecting venom and slurping up the soft parts inside. Kind of like bubble tea, only with more violence. Oh, and just so you know, I can eat fellow octopuses too. When food's scarce, not evil, it's just practical. Think I'm gentle? Let me explain. When chased, I release a thick blast of melanin-rich ink. It messes with vision, taste, and direction. While the predator's having a panic attack, I change color or pivot 180 degrees and vanish into a crevice you didn't even notice existed. When you look back, all you see is ink and your own confusion. Wait, where to go? My DNA is so complex. I've got over 33,000 protein coding genes, more than humans. I'm not descended from fish, not related to crustaceans and definitely not kissing cousins with frogs. I'm just myself. A scientist once joked, octopuses seem like they don't belong on this planet. I won't confirm or deny. 
Octopus mothers lay up to 200,000 eggs. They guard them fiercely for months. No eating, no sleeping, no Netflix. When the eggs hatch, mom dies. On quietly. No applause. No fanfare. Just a new generation continuing the brilliance. We're not human. But we've got skills that make scientists jealous. We learn ridiculously fast. Solve problems like machines. Have emotions, long-term memory. And yes, we dream. Some of us even change color while sleeping. Spooky or stylish. I don't need bones. I don't need armor. All I need is flexibility, intelligence, and shape-shifting style. Up to adapt, survive, and leave Earthlings gobsmacked. If there's one thing humans should learn from me, it's this. Being soft doesn't mean being weak. Being different doesn't mean being wrong. And being true to yourself. That's the real superpower. Who am I, you ask? I am the official heir to the streetwise Greyford underworld. Full name, Raccoon. Scientific name, Proson Lauder. Hometown? North America. From bustling cities to remote forests, you'll find my paw prints everywhere. Don't believe me? I can live just about anywhere. As long as there's a little spill of food around, I'll gladly set up camp. Compact body? Yup. Some 16 to 28 inches length, weigh about 7.7 .7 to 20 pounds. Small, but packing serious punch. Grayish brown fur with nearly 90% made up of a dense undercoat that provides top-notch insulation. No matter how cold it gets, I'm unfazed. I'm a proud member of the Night Owl Society. I sleep by day and rule the night. A true creature of the dark, living in shadows, but shining like a star of the garbage heap. I walk with a bit of a hunch, blame it on my longer back legs. But don't be fooled by the bounce. I can run up to 24 kilometers per hour, swim like a champ, and stay underwater for hours if I feel like it. My diet? Basically the whole planet. 40% invertebrates, 33% fruits and veggies, 27% boned goodies. I don't discriminate. If it's edible, it's mine. Even your pet's food or that trash can you forgot to close. Yep, I'll take it. And I'm not picky about where I crash either. My den could be a tree hollow, a rotting log, your attic, or literally any cozy little hideout I can claim. Fun fact, the name Raccoon comes from the Powhatan word Arakun, meaning one who scratches with its hands. Even cooler, the Aztecs called Mima Pachili the one who holds everything in its hands. Wow. Sounds like a god, huh? My hands? Five fingers of evolutionary perfection. I dig through trash, open cabinets, twist lids, bang pots. Nothing's out of reach. My paws, super sensitive. One touch and I know what's what. And underwater, twice as sensitive, like magic fingertips. I've also got this quirky cute habit. I wash my food before I eat it. Huh? Not because I'm a neat freak. Nay, it's just instinct. Seawater dunk seafood rub weird maybe but hey who's gonna stop me i'm no weakling either i climb jump run fast and nimble good luck keeping up i growl hiss meow and pee, cry like a baby to freak out oh you soft-hearted humans my God. and hey i'm smart like problem solving genius smart i remember routes hiding spots your face even stuff from three years ago. Try me. Does my face look uh, familiar to you? Ring a bell? That's right, I look just like a thief. The black fur around my eyes. Total comic book burglar vibes. 
No point hiding it. I am a thief. I steal food. I steal the spotlight. And yep, I might just steal your heart too. Aww. Some scientists believe this dark fur pattern helps reduce glare and enhances night vision. And my tail? Oh, uh, it's got five to eight alternating dark and light rings. Basically, a top tier fashion accessory. As for my personality, not exactly house pet material. Raise me from a baby, teach me manners, and I'll still cause trouble. Let me near your cat, I'll jack its food. Zero regrets. Oh, and one more thing. When I snap, it's table flipping, plate smashing, chicken slaying madness. I'll bust doors, pick locks, and rob you in broad daylight. I'm fast, I'm curious, I'm smart, and reckless as heck. Cross me, I can flip the switch in 0.3 seconds and turn your garden into a war zone. Yeah, I'm a real bad boy, moody, unpredictable, and basically a fuzzy bag of biohazards. Just a little public service announcement. Am I carry rabies? My pee has leptospirosis, which can mess up your kidneys or brain. My poop may contain Bailey Scaris procyonis, a roundworm that could literally send you to the afterlife if inhaled. So yeah, mess with me and you might be done for. What's that? You're scared of me? Oh, come on, I've got my charming side too. I can be adorably clueless. I strike the cutest poses. I live a wild, spontaneous life. Aww. Though often thought to be loners, we actually hang out in same gender groups. Less drama that way, you know? In winter, I don't fully hibernate, but I can stay holed up in my den for weeks without stepping outside. I'm the raccoon, icon of cunning, adaptation, rebellion, and ridiculous cuteness. Live like me. <laughs> no rules, no fear, no bosses. I live fast, live loud, and live real, even if real can get a little scary sometimes. <laughs>